Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. So for today I wanted to detail for you how the amino acid dipeptide carnosine radically enhances our immune response, something that should be of particular interest to older individuals. As what we call a dipeptide, carnosine is comprised of the amino acids alanine and L-histidine, and we find carnosine naturally in the brain, muscles, nerves, and other areas of the body that require large amounts of energy. Naturally, as regular carnosine supplementation enhances all these areas, athletes in particular have used carnosine primarily as beta-alanine for many years. For the immune system, carnosine offers powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory support against the oxidation-fueled age-related degradation that facilitates conditions like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and also the proliferation of viruses. As we age, the efficiency of our glucose metabolism steadily declines. Glycation is a process where glucose binds to protein molecules, impairing their function and generating low-grade inflammation. Glycation consequently can lead to the excessive glucose intolerance of type 2 diabetes, the blood vessel damage seen with cardiovascular disease, and eventually neurodegeneration in the brain from both of these degenerative effects. Think about how these progressive conditions contribute to a less than optimal immune response. Carnosine can intervene in this destructive cycle both by inhibiting excessive glucose elevation and shielding tissues from the resulting glycation. Carnosine can also modulate the release of nitric oxide into the upper respiratory tract, which is critical for controlling the initial stages of a condition like the flu. Normally, nitric oxide is a powerful anti-inflammatory compound that, among other things, dilates the pulmonary vessels. However, the body can overproduce nitric oxide in response to the systemic inflammation of a viral infection, and this is when nitric oxide can become a major problem. Regular intake of carnosine can help to avoid the overstimulation of the immune system seen in a cytokine storm, as carnosine's strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effect can counteract the excessive oxidation and inflammation so often seen with such a hyperinflammatory response. This is especially true in the lungs, where a cytokine storm can easily lead to acute respiratory distress syndrome. Carnosine's anti-glycating properties can also guard against excessive blood coagulation, which is something particularly interesting to older people who often have impaired glucose metabolism. Carnosine can also greatly delay diabetes-induced deterioration of the heart, liver, and kidneys when used regularly. Specific to the kidneys, carnosine interferes with the glucose-dependent deposition of extracellular material that can otherwise impair the kidney's filtering abilities. As we know, this is a common cause of diabetic-induced kidney failure. Carnosine even supports the eyes by delaying the progression of cataracts, which is the clouding of the lens that can lead to blindness. Carnosine even guards against the blood vessel degradation that is behind diabetic retinopathy. A typical daily dose for carnosine is around 1,000 mg a day, but you may want to increase it up to as much as 2,000 mg per day. If you're getting your carnosine through beta-alanine supplementation, which is available as powder or capsules, then 2,000 mg per day is much more likely the dose you'll be working with. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.